The entire Indian coastline is expected to be among the most affected by climate change, impacting approximately more than 250 million people. The Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea are both predicted to be hit by extreme climate variability under future climate scenarios. And globally, climate change could drive an additional 100 million people to poverty by 2030. Changes in monsoon rainfall patterns and drought frequency are affecting water resources, agricultural output, livelihoods, public health and the economy. Very soon, the lives and livelihoods of the coastal communities would be at stake, especially the most vulnerable groups of the society, including women, children and the elderly. In an attempt to address the climate propagated vulnerabilities, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Government of India, in collaboration with the Green Climate Fund State Government of Odisha and UNDP, are implementing the Enhancing Climate Resilience of India's Coastal Communities or ECRICC project. It aims to enhance lives and livelihoods of those inhabiting coastal areas that integrates ecosystem-centered and community-based approaches. This paradigm shift will be achieved through investing in ecological infrastructure following a nature-based solution approach to buffer against climate-induced hazards. ECRICC is also expected to successfully contribute towards the priorities outlined in India's National Action Plan on Climate Change 2008, the National Coastal Mission, the State Action Plans, as well as commitments outlined in India's nationally determined contribution. Studies show that the entire coastline in Odisha, stretching from Balasore to Ganjam, is at risk from flooding and inundation due to rising sea levels by 2050. Perhaps why the ECRICC project will focus on seven landscapes in the state. Balasori in Balasore, Devi Mouth and Chilika in Puri, Mohanadi Mouth and Bhitor Kanika in Kendrupala, and Bahuda and the remaining Chilika area in Ganjam. <laughs> A key component of the ECRICC project in Odisha is to increase the area of mangrove cover. In the aftermath of the super cyclone in 1999, it was learned that hundreds of lives were saved and nearly 10 kilometers of coastal area was spared from inundation thanks to the state's thick mangrove cover that acted as a natural barrier against the sea surge and protecting the lives of the coastal communities. The ECRICC project is restoring and regenerating life around the mangroves by identifying new areas and creating meta-nurseries for plantation of mangroves enhancing the resilience of coastal and marine ecosystems and their services, promoting livelihood diversification and job opportunities of the locals through a community-centric, consultative approach, engaging the peripheral communities and vulnerable populations, particularly women, in climate-adaptive decision-making, involving women's self-help groups in awareness programs about the importance of mangroves, not just in regards to climate change, but also as a scope for employment and income generation. As the world looks at more ways to tackle climate change, a gender transformative and community-based approach may perhaps be the key to achieving climate resilience. And projects such as ECRICC, which focus on these majestic coastal forests, could make a positive impact 
beyond its ecosystem. <laughs>